It's a Saturday afternoon and a couple are heading home with their three-month-old son. On the radio, relaxing music to soothe the baby. But they're filming because a police van oh is following God. them. Look when they reach home, they're confronted by an officer with his baton raised and surrounded by his colleagues. And one of the officers confronts the mother who's sitting in the back with her baby. That mother was Team GB sprinter Bianca Williams, who was with her partner Ricardo De Santo, himself a professional athlete. They were on their way home after training for the Tokyo Olympics. I kept pulling my, pushing my, or pulling myself back into into the car because I'm not leaving the baby, um, and I kept saying to him, "The baby, like the, my son's in the car, my son's in the car," and they they weren't listening. They were very very aggressive, um, and they then put me in handcuffs. I was so scared. I panicked. I started to I started to cry. It was I've never been in that situation before. Um, I felt I felt violated and just hurt and just just heartbroken to be honest. The Metropolitan Police say their car was on the wrong side of the road and the driver sped off when asked to stop. The couple strongly deny this, saying they stopped when it was safe to do so. The only way I see it is that Ricardo was black and he was driving a nice car, which is instant racial profiling. Um, I have no idea why, why I was in handcuffs. And this isn't the first time Ricardo's been stopped. So going on to three years, stopped over 15 times and it's always the same excuse, either yeah, we look, you look like someone we're after. How can you afford this car? Um, suspicion of drugs. In a statement, the Metropolitan Police told us officers from the Directorate of Professional Standards have reviewed both footage from social media and the body-worn video of the officers and are satisfied that there is no concern around the officers' conduct. The couple are now considering legal action. Sedol Karia, ITV News.